Um, any thoughts on BravoCon? Oh, God. Let's pull out the itinerary. Yeah. We did get the uh, itineraries for the weekend for Bravo. Con. Con. I'm fairly fine with it. Um, there will be no Nini. There will be no Candy. Uh, the Beverly Hills Housewives will be there on Sunday. Kyle will be there on Saturday, though. Kyle! Hopefully I'll see her. Wait, um, actually, um, I have some bad news. Yeah, I, I saw you live. Lisa Renna will not be there the day we're there, unfortunately. Mary the Medicine will be there on Friday. Friday. So that leaves, um, Saturday will be the Atlanta Housewives. Portia, Kenya... Cynthia, Eva. All the uhs. The uhs. The uhs. And we really, and Eva. Um, is she really necessary? Two Potomac women, Ashley Darby and Giselle. They don't even have enough for their own panel. Right. right. God. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Broke ass Robin ain't have shit to do. And I'm sorry. I can't believe Robin pried her nose out of Gabrice's pussy long enough. For them to, to do an event separately. Well, maybe she's not even a part of it. Maybe she'll just be there as a guest, you know, of somebody. I'm pretty sure, like, why wouldn't she be a part of it? <laughs> Wait, you mean she's going to be a plus one? <laughs> <laughs> Plus one. Oh my God. Shout out to Abba and Preach. They gave me a shout out yesterday. I got like a lot of subscribers. Everybody went and watched my Amanda Seals video. <laughs> so that's why we brought back was, the plus one. It was a true drag. And Ooh. their drag was even worse because, I mean, they, they really fine tuned the word narcissist mm. and really placed that right on her. Like... Using, I still like Amanda. But, you know, they really, like, they presented some facts to the point where Amanda had to respond to them. The fact that Amanda responded to them proves how bothered she is. And I'm sure she saw your video, too. Well, you see, she didn't respond to me. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not going back and forth with you. Oh, yeah. I don't think people are clout chasing. It's just like everyone... It's a hot topic. Right. And, I mean, what Amanda does, like, she critiques pop culture as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how me and her, like, you know, bonded. So it's like, you know, you're a part of, you know, the culture people talk about now. So it is what And it you is. put yourself out there yeah. with this event... With these ridiculous, desperate antics. Antics. Anywho. You knew people were going to speak on it. But anywho, back to BravoCon. Um, I'm still excited. We have a very long day ahead of us. Uh, it looks like we'll be getting there around 9.30 or 10. And be there until maybe 9 p.m. Child, if, if Renna ain't there in the morning, what's the fucking point? Well, I still want to see Andy. Like, I'll see you at 2. At two? Uh, okay. Here's the thing. I am not getting up or I, Like, I feel like Andy's going to be boring. I mean... I don't care about Andy Cohen. I do fine. not need to be on my feet like that for these fuckers. Two o'clock? <laughs> yeah. I so you're going to miss... Uh, I well, mean, you see, I don't care we'll about the OGs only. I don't care that much about Kyle. <laughs> I like... if Now, if it was Kyle and Renna, that's enough. But Kyle without Renna, that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's just a sorry-ass neutron floating around with no proton <laughs> to connect to. You just never know who's going to be there. It's early in the morning. The only people are going to be there are those that are paid. <laughs> well, we shall see. We will see. But yeah, Well, I to, shall see. I get he'll see, because if you want to go to that early shit, you go ahead. I'll be there at 2. Okay. And that way I can do the sip and see and have the, the energy for that. There'll be a photo op after. Then um, we could do Gabrice and Ashley with Housewife to Housewife mm -hmm. photo op after. And then the Daily Edition photo op after. And then it's 7.30. I don't see a point in getting there 
for Ask Dry Ass Andy, and then it's like there's an event from 10.45 to 11.45, and nothing until 2.30. Well, actually, uh, so... In the beginning, in the day, in the beginning of the day, I was just gonna decide whether I want to see Andy or I could just look at all the uh, housewives of Jersey. Don't nobody because give a fuck Andy, about Jersey. Uh, Y'all ain't even watching. You'd be the surprised. Reviews. Like you, Child. you saw the ratings. For did Jersey? you see my? Did you see the numbers for my Jersey? I know. Movie? I'm just ain't saying. nobody watching that shit. Don't nobody give a fuck. They like look. Check it. Okay, we'll so be here. None for of Atlanta. y'all. None of y'all are watching Jersey. How none about that? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. And they're the only people that matter to me. I get it. I don't give a fuck who watching Jersey on the network if they ain't watching it over here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I plan to either see Andy or the Housewives. But then Andy's going to be moderating the OG segment too, and then Teresa's going to be there as well. So I'm just. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. I'll... You care about Teresa? You know what's also very interesting? They're not playing up the Bravo Bazaar. They're not playing up the Top Chef Food Hall. There was miraculously an event added, this Top Chef Dinner, mm-hmm. that they didn't have before. They have two seatings for the Southern Charm Brunch, but I'm wondering what merch is going to be there because nobody there has anything to push. Hmm. So I think they may not be go doing to, as much merch as we thought. Would you want to do the Watch What Happens Live on Friday if there's tickets available? Or you don't really there care? aren't tickets available. Oh, I would love okay. to. Now that I would go. Mm-hmm. But um, there are you still going to go tickets. out there Friday? And do exit interviews? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Anything oh, in court news or debt news? Oh, there's always some debt news according to the blast. Oh, Jesus Christ. This this is our parenting episode, and we don't have children, nor do we want them, but we're going to tell you how to raise yours. Erica Mena is not going to vaccinate her child. Ah. Uh, is she Like, vaccinated? it's one thing... Yes, because you couldn't go to school unless you weren't, although she does uh, seem like she dropped out in the fifth grade. I don't mind people parenting their own way. Don't start a fucking plague. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Do you know how these viruses and bacteria mutate? Do you have any idea? We are two seconds away from a new super flu. Like the 21st century is here. They had a measles outbreak. Yeah. In Brooklyn. Oh, wow. Yes. Because people weren't vaccinating their kids and finally like... The state had to be like, even if it's for religious reasons, you're going to have to vaccinate these kids because people are dying of measles in 2019. Will Erica Mena be on the new Love and Hip Hop New York? Of course she will. Oh, goodness. (laughs) Right when you thought you could look forward to the season. I'm telling you, this is going to be the most boring season of Love and Hip Hop New York I mean, last, no, last year. You thought last last season season was a yawn? This season's going to be even worse. Because it's old beef that we at don't least care it's familiar about. people we know. At least we don't give a shit about them. The thing is, you think you're gonna care the second they open their mouths. Oh God, I was glad you was off this show because you ain't got nothing to say. What is Tahiri going to say? What does she have to offer? You know what they're gonna try to get her back with, with Joe. They're gonna try to get her back with. I Joe. don't care about Joe and his shrimp cocktail penis. Hey, um. As far as loving hip hop, I couldn't tell you anything about LA right now or Hollywood. Like I think I'm seven. I checked out. <laughs> I really checked out. And then I see April saying she's not shitting on Omarion's dick. I and bet I, she and has. I re- and I read that wrong. I read it wrong. I read the headline wrong, and she didn't even mean it like that. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. No, you read that headline right, and I bet she has. Child, and she gives me a Pablo Picasso tea. Master painter. In other news, <laughs> Will Smith got a proctology exam publicly. To, yeah, a colonoscopy. Promote, a colonoscopy, that's what it was. Yeah, I mean, when you get that Don't you age, have to be asleep for that? I thought you were usually awake. Oh, no, no that was a colon a... cleansing. I'm sorry. Oh, he got a colon no, cleansing. No, 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 no. Like, you can be awake for a colon cleansing. Yeah, a colon cleansing. Like, I remember Portia was doing that. Sleep. Well, yeah. But when you're that age, especially men between the ages of 40 and 50, you gotta get your colon checked. Because colon cancer is very real, especially in men ages to, like, 40 to, like, 55. And prostate, too? Prostate cancer and colon cancer. 
Yes. And also, you got to have your veggie smoothies because if you keep yourself flushed out, it won't be that big of a deal. Right. Don't have anything hanging around down there. To I really need to change shit. my diet. I mean, even though like I'm aging backwards, like the insides of my body are screaming. So I really need to like work on it um, as I get a Popeye's chicken sandwich right after this. Do they deliver them yet? They do. Oh, okay. I heard they do. Maybe I'll get one. Um, Kanye West is considering changes, changing his name to Christian Genius Billionaire. He also said he was running for president in 2024. Where's that wig? I need to throw it at the camera. It's on, the, it's on the that, that. It's on the oh, fan. There it is. I just, I mean, he got the number one album, and he, Gospel. Right, but it, he's tying Eminem now for nine consecutive number one albums. Eminem had nine number nine one albums? Nine number one albums. I can't believe Eminem had nine albums. Yeah. I was an Eminem fan back in the day, but after, like, relapse, I kind of, like, checked out. I, he's just too ugly for me. Uh, it was just the shame, the shame, the same shtick. And it was just like, I, he's really talented, but it's just like, I what else? What else? I couldn't get past that face. Mm. There was always something like, eh, no, no, I can't look at you for the lady. I actually liked him back in the day, like in the eight mile days. But yeah, Kanye, fuck him. I'm over him. I wish people started giving him a platform. I heard that, like, now he's, like, um, policing his children. Like, there's no makeup in the house, no TV. How the fuck you got no TV in the house when TV paid for the house? Right, and they're on TV. I don't Lord, get it. It's just... I see that family imploding very soon. Yeah. Because daddy's nutso. And no one wants to say anything about it. I've been saying he's been crazy for, like, the past two years. That's well, why I barely been go for crazy. Him. It's just we've just accepted it. Malika Huck is having a boy, but are you having a fuck? I don't know her. <laughs> who is that? <laughs> is that the girl who is like on a dog chain? <laughs> yes. With Khloe Kardashian yes. on the yes. other side of it? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So she's like a, a shucking and jiving reality star. Ah, yes. uh, okay. And we don't know who the daddy is either. Yeah, she's keeping that secret like we care. Right. Sorry to that woman. And the thing is, it doesn't matter who he is. We know he's sorry. Yeah. Malika Huck, we don't give a fuck. ASAP Rocky is going back, back to, to Sweden. Sweden. In words. <laughs> In words. He, he deserves to be locked up, so hopefully they get him this time. <laughs> I don't know, like, he's just a fool. <laughs> like, you are a fool. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think i this time. Okay. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner says that her transition was harder than training for the Olympics. And I believe her because she still can't walk in heels. <laughs> just giving a lumber fucking tea. It's like, yeah. it's heel toe, heel toe. Come the fuck on. I mean, that's game 101. <laughs> it really is. Um, I rarely say this, but I really do think he did it for attention. The only I people that get attention... I think regretting it, and you're not even using the right pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> it's Caitlyn Jenner. No one gives a fuck. She, like, I'm sorry. She's a Republican, so she can burn in hell. That's one person that Amanda got together. <laughs> one. <laughs> Finally. But I just feel like only women were getting attention in that family. And he said, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> he said, I mean, you know what? He was a prop to begin with. <laughs> he was hired help. <laughs> Chris Jenner knew what she was doing. I mean, look at the... Caitlin with a C. Look at the big hip sissy she went now. Oh, that is hired help. <laughs> Marcus. Marcus with the Marcus. big hips. And the drone phone. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Marcus with a switch. <laughs> Just switching them hips. Anyway. 
Akon says you can't really blame Takashi 69 for snitching. And he's right. If you're facing jail time, you're gonna snitch. The fuck? I mean, especially jail for the rest of your life. The re 47 years? I don't have 47 minutes. But I wouldn't do activity that would, like, put me in that position. Right. Like, I'm not going to use, like... Because he basically faked his entire persona, it feels like. Well, I mean, I feel like that's like the music business. That's like entertainment. Like, there's always going to be some a level. people are that life. Like Snoop is that life. Like uh, Suge Knight, <laughs> Tupac, Biggie. Like, I mean, well, half those people ain't alive, and the other half ain't uh, free. <laughs> yeah, Snoop is the only winner amongst that bunch. And Snoop was about that life. Snoop is way too busy, like doing and he's shows. He's really with done like Stewart. a. Like a whole like, brand switch. That is someone who is like capitalized, not even just in music, but just like the persona. He moved the really, fuck away from the bullshit. I mean, that's just how you do it, you know? Cheers. <laughs> and speaking of Suge Knight, you see like, um, I think Ray J is trying to like get in contact with Donald Trump with 45 to like uh, get Suge free. That actually is a lie. Oh, okay. And I don't know why it's he wouldn't lie. just call Kim Kardashian. I mean, she's doing such great work getting people out. Right. They've worked Wendy beautifully said the same together thing. before. Wendy said I'm the same sure you thing. have her number. <laughs> I'm sure. Yep. Give her a call. Did you see on um, the video of Cardi posting up on a fan? Honestly, I'm starting to believe these are antics for the gram to keep her ass relevant <laughs> until the next project comes out. Happy you're in Fast and Furious, but I mm -hmm. would say because you have an ongoing case right now, that wouldn't be the move. Yeah. So I also, like, if you were really going to do that, you've had, what, thousands of opportunities to do this before. You right. just so happen to do it now during a lull. I think it's a stunt. I think it's a show. It has to be. I, I just, you, I have, t like, if I was in Cardi's position, I have too much money to deal with, like, peons. Peasants. And it's, and it's always a story when, I mean, I, I you remember that saying, like, uh, the dog barking at the moon? When, when a, dog, a dog will always howl at the moon, it's when the moon howls back that it's a story. Right, exactly. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, when you have that much money, like, I, I just have nothing for you. And like we were saying on our live, like, you know, we deal with crazy people every day in New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what I look like fighting people <laughs> on the subway that, like, you know, have, you know, yell at me or say something slick. Like, I am have in a to... different tax bracket, you know? Like, I don't need It's this. like you don't even know what you're saying because you're off your meds. Right. Like, it, like we deal with, like, you know, really like mentally ill people where it's just like, you don't need, you, you're not even talking to me. You're seeing like a green goblin right now. So I'm right. just going to try to edge over here so that you don't try to hit me or throw a bottle of urine. Because these people will be carrying <laughs> bottles of piss like that. Like nothing's clicking. Nothing's clicking. Mm -hmm. So it's like you, you realize you can't give all these people your time and energy. Exactly. She'll learn. Hopefully. The baby said he's having a friendship baby with his baby mama. A friendship baby. You know, I actually, I like it because it's honest. It's unlike honest. A, unlike a plot line baby. <laughs> which we have seen a lot of. It's like, look, y'all friends, you fuck. She's like, I think I want to have a kid. You could be the... And it's like, I, it, it's wonderful because it already sets everybody up for no expectations of it's, fidelity. It's mature. Of... <laughs> Fuck buddies having babies. I don't know. I just... Babies are expensive. They just really are. So they uh, want to do that. I know. They made a conscious Look decision. <laughs> I'm sure he's an extra $5,000 a year. Like yeah. with dog food. And a baby is double that. Oh, a baby is going to be so much more because then you've got to hire, hire somebody to take care of it. <laughs> they put that you in the... You think I'm going to um, feed that fucker? They put that in the subway for abstinence. Like a baby costs $10,000 a year. I feel like that would get you to wear your condom. Yeah. I, I don't think it's like you, you like don't have to have sex. Like just, you know, birth control, condoms, things like that. <laughs> don't tell that the future. <laughs> oh my God. Or, I'm sure um, future is allergic to every type of condom. 
Chris Brown makes five million dollars in a day from his yard sale. He made five million dollars. I, I was know about to say I his believe. tour. I don't believe that. Ah, well, then again, he did have like a lot of shit. Did you see it? Yeah, it was. It went on for like three days. Now, if he said like, well, he might have then. If three days, like. He literally, like, wardrobes and wardrobes and wardrobes. Like I could have benefited from that because I'm sure we're the same shoe size. But would He's you want the Coke in the shoe? I probably would have wanted the weed and the hoodie that somebody found. <laughs> A gift with purchase. But I think we're probably, like, the same size in clothing, so I probably would have benefited from it. I'm not sure how much he was selling it for, but, yeah, like... I'm sure I would have wanted some luxury brand shoes or whatever, but kudos to him, I guess. I would have wanted the hoodies. I would have wanted without maybe the weed. wanted it all, honestly. He does have some cute clothes. I can't yeah. be mad at him. He never shows up looking stank. The line was like long in like a regular neighborhood. Like those poor neighbors. Lord, those poor uh -huh. neighbors dealing with Chris Brown on the regular. That's a good point. I call the Homeowners Association. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Wendy said she sent uh, one of her staffers there to the um, the yard sale. And um, they were in the front finally after four hours of waiting. And then someone came up to them and offered them $1,300 to take their spot in line. <laughs> so they took it? They took the $1,300. They said, Wendy, you ain't paying enough. Well, so. he... They he called Wendy the staff or whatever and asked is it okay and they told him to take the money. Cha, I don't believe none of that shit. Uh, you think she's I believe lying? that was a fan that gives her <clears throat> some tips and she was like, okay, girl, how much you you was gonna send fifty dollars? They said they. <laughs> All right, well I'm getting thirteen hundred. I ain't gonna make it in. <laughs> Do you think if we went to BravoCon and somebody offered us thirteen hundred dollars for our tickets that we would take it? I wouldn't take it. Exactly. When you're there with a job to do, you have a job to do. Right. That's why I don't believe that bullshit. Mm. And somebody as demanding as Wendy's gonna tell them, oh, take them, please. Mm. Wendy may have many things, but a heart isn't one of them. <laughs> she does not give a fuck about her employees. Mm. And that's why we're banned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so does your friend like not even talk to you anymore or she just left me on red you need to have a conversation with her about this we used to work together when i first moved here i don't know we were cool and you know she i was excited for her to be like i remember she was an intern and now she's on the hot topics bureau now and I don't know. I messaged her and it was just no response. Like, I saw her put her story up. And I was like, okay, well, she had to see it. I mean, she only has like mm. 700 followers. So, no shade. I I'm kind of hurt. I really am. Like, if she would have just said, yeah, you're, you're banned. We, exactly. We just I, be I honest. Right. It would like hurt my feelings. I, I know that people, means Wendy I know is people that work the show at, if we're banned. Or someone on the staff is. Production. Mm, yeah, I could definitely see them being like... Because you have you. to send a photo in. Like, oh, uh, yeah, you have to send a photo in. And I That's sent a right. very cute photo of myself, too. I'm just saying. No, I was just like, you know what? It's okay, though, because, you know, I have people that work at ABC, you know, Good Morning America, The View, um... What's the other one? The Today Show. Tamron Hall. We're Tamron Hall. I could go, go I could go Lizzo. to Yeah, I could go to uh, And Wendy is gonna be canceled next year because her and Charlemagne are gonna do a radio show on Sirius and he's gonna leave the Breakfast Club. You heard it here first. Allegedly. Allegedly, but it's gonna happen. Interesting. Wow. wow. But yeah, like I have choices and I'm not banned from there, so it's fine. And we're not banned from BravoCon. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll, we'll let See, you know. See, that's also why I don't want to go to that morning shit. I'm like, ask Andy, child. That's just asking to get banned. Well, I'm going to get my questions ready. I could see Teresa wanting me out because, you know, I said that she fucks her brother and or I believe the, it. Or she's a gorilla. 
true, which I also believe. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I, all the 23 of her chromosomes can't be human. Ah. I just, I don't buy it. There's a new orangutan emoji. <laughs> now this is really an interesting question. Did the Azalea Banks beef stall Sky Jackson's career? That's the little girl mm-hmm. who had who was a meme on the couch, right? Yeah. For a minute. No, Why? that that might be the other one. I think that's her. Okay. But um I had to think of who Sky Jackson was. Like Exactly. I mean they I mean, what did she do before that? Is she she was an she... actress, a actress singer. Okay, why why would a like her thing with Azalea Banks be? It just seemed like that's what she became most famous for, and really for dragging Azalea Banks because mm-hmm. nobody knew who she was before, and then she was kind of like everybody. Well, she was a little girl, and then Azalea Banks clearly like, you know, has something going on with her and attacking mm. a someone a minor. <laughs> So, I was completely on on Sky's side. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh I my mean, God. did you see what she said about Lizzo? That whole rant? No. She's I... crazy. <laughs> she is crazy. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember that rant. She is crazy. Yeah. Does she say that? Does she acknowledge that? Or... Uh, no. Uh, Sky hasn't, but Azalea Banks is, like, taunting her because I guess Sky's career is getting down to where Azalea Banks is. And she's like, you see, your momager, instead of picking fights with me, uh, like Marseille Martin, should have been like eating your prestigious child actress food. Now you out here trying she to do is... a self-help book off something that happened three years ago. Ooh, Azalea and her drags. Did you hear the announcement on Instagram? What announcement? Um, the CEO uh, announced that next week they're going to test out uh, getting rid of uh, the likes. Like, I'm guessing you can't see the likes, but I can see the likes on a picture. So I'm guessing, like, it's a whole, like, people, they don't want people to get in their heads about, you know, validation and shit like that. So they it's wanna... social media. That's why we're here. If you're not strong enough, then don't put up with it. Get the fuck off the app. <laughs> right, exactly. But, yeah, they're trying to do, like, a... Oh, my a... God. So they're, they're going to try that out next week. You can still you got, can still see the lights. They just put other shit people back can't. in chronological order. If you're gonna fuck with it, fuck with it right. Right. I mean, it'll be interesting to see. You know, like I, I don't think so because that's just one less way to comment. Yeah. But then again, also when people look at your pictures, they won't like go through and like all of them because you know that pisses you off. Oh God, no! Don't when like they more like, than no. four of his pictures in a row, people. Don't do it. I mean... That I can, fifth one, just scroll on. by just I mean, on. seven maybe, but not 40. Someone did 40. And that's just crazy. I'm sorry. They were looking through your pictures and they were like, oh, this is cute. Oh, look at 40? this. 40? 40. Um, well, imagine if you went through a photo album. Like, in um, person, like, oh, 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 I remember this. Oh, do you remember? Like, that, that's what... <laughs> You're getting blocked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I guess now that won't happen anymore because nobody can like a picture. No, people can like the picture. It's just they won't oh. sh- they won't show the likes. Oh Jesus! So wait, won't you still be in your head because you see the likes and it's still uh, that shit? Don't make uh, that's no what sense. I think, y'all. I'm just saying, like, I they, they're gonna get rid of like. Like the light counter on people's the pages. display, and yeah, so display. you'll see how many people like your picture, and you can still feel inadequate. Look, you'll have people, but nobody else will know you're inadequate. You have the people. <laughs> yes, you'll have people screenshotting it now. At that point, see y'all. I still got the oh, two thousand likes on this naked picture that I posted. <laughs> Ooh, I feel bad for the thirst trappers, honestly. There's people that survive on that. Yeah, how are they going to, like, monetize their ads and sell shit? Exactly. 90210, the reboot has been canceled because Tori Spelling was attached to it, and God wants to see Tori Spelling poor. It was on TV? (laughs) Like, it was already on? (laughs) Can I get a (laughs) bow? I thought it didn't even premiere yet. It was on TV. 
They already premiered it. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, look, I oh had no God. idea that <laughs> show was on. <laughs> So I'm just making oh it work my email. god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I I swear to God, <laughs> did you watch it? No. Oh, what channel oh did it come god. on? Fox, I guess. Oh my god! I didn't know there was a reboot. <laughs> Sorry, that show. <laughs> it was on TV. I, I'm surprised at that reaction. Like I just, I really it's didn't know. It's just the way you said it. Oh, well. <laughs> like a high school play. Oh, that was on TV. <laughs> right. So, just going back to that, it's like according to the Wired, the Wired, according to Wired magazine, Instagram is trying to become the safest space on the internet. Oh, fuck that. In order to do so. Adam Masiri is attempting to do away with the idea that one's worth is somehow tied to the amount of likes you get on a photo. It is. Moving on. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to hear, that was on TV. <laughs> I, I just had no idea. I remember the original one. Rapper Little Pump was bitten by a snake during a music video shoot. I'm happy so that way maybe people will stop using live snakes for video shoots. Let their asses be. <laughs> you want a friendly animal, get a dog, get a cat. We've had so many, um, I guess, iconic videos with snakes in them. So I'm guessing just people want to recreate that. Child, people were stupid in the 80s and they stupid today. I ain't fucking with no snakes. <laughs> now, if you're talking about like a, a bad boot bite too. or um, a, a purse, uh, luggage, I'm, I'm all for, you know, some snake skin. Mm -hmm. Are we 10 minutes again? How the I just got up. Oh, and unfortunately, Lil Pump is still with us. <laughs> if you heard his music, you'd understand. <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> that makes it funnier. <laughs> okay. Moving on. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish performs a surprise comedy set at a 20 person ball. Okay, that seems cute. I really want to see her live just to see if, like, she can make me laugh outside of, like, Girl's Trip. Do you want to see Dr. Sleep? No. Oh, that's right. You don't like scary movies. <laughs> like, that's I'm a movie sorry. I would leave the house for. Oh, no. I might sorry. The that, Stephen King? Yeah. No. It's like Return to the Shining? No. Now, I watched The Shining... Um, late at night, and it was snowing out, and I was probably, like, maybe... Oh, is that what it's based off of? Mm -hmm. It's The Shining Part 2. It's what happens when the kid grows up. Oh, okay. I saw those two girls in the hallway. I was like, haven't I seen this before? Mm-hmm. Okay, well... But that movie scared the living hell out of me. And I like sleep, and I don't get that much, so... <laughs> I that that's, that did have me, like, I was up until, like, 5 a.m. watching cartoons. Oh. And, like, once the sun finally started to, like, come up, I was just like, okay, I can go to bed. That movie scared the hell out of me. Mm. Paranormal Activity scared the shit out of Ooh, me. Ooh, that is the best ever. <laughs> that is, they are one of the best well, to fucking do it. Well, there's a new one coming out in 2021. <gasps> oh, that's so far, but... <gasps> yeah, they greenlit it. And there's going to be a Scream 5. I, oh, God. They should have I mean, stopped, that, they stopped some, that 3. Neve Campbell needs something to do. I've, se I've seen all four. And 3, they should have stopped at 3. I think 2 was the best. Scream 2 was amazing. Yeah. I liked the first one. Um, Speaking of horror, uh, American Horror Story season finale is next week. I am so sad. I was really enjoying this season, and I feel like this is when they're going to fuck it up. Um, They've been going every which way, and it's more so just like one of those childhood maze-like coloring things. Like, mm -hmm. just like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> and then you finally find out, like, I'm like, oh, okay, we're done. Like, it's just... I just I'm just watching it solely to see where they go where the hell they go with it. Yes. 
And that's it. Like, it's not even that it's good. It's just... I've really been enjoying it. I've enjoyed the acting. That is shocking. I've enjoyed the from writing. You. I know I don't enjoy it. Shocking. That. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying Angelica Ross on there. I think she's going to be the final girl because, you know, in the 80s, the black person never survives. Never. So... Well, then again, it's not like... Like, all the dead people keep popping back up. Right. So, I feel like, okay, you die, but you can still have... Like, everybody else is dead. They still on the show. Mm Mm-hmm. So... You saw the last episode? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Like, when that... When he was, like, on the boat, did they take that from another movie? Probably. When the thing jumped out and grabbed him? Because I think that was from Friday the 13th. Oh, something jumped out and grabbed him? Yeah, I remember when they stabbed him and then they left. They Mr. put him Jingles in the boat. And... I turned away and then I came back and he was like already in that like little right. thing. They... I didn't know something had done. Yeah, that. Okay. something grabbed him and oh. threw him in the water. Oh, that's real Camp Crystal Lake. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I, I liked it. Mm. I like. I'm I'm enjoying this season. I'm sad that it's ending, and I'm looking forward to the next one now that we've got Angelica as part of the cast. And I'm telling you, they wrote well, that. They really wrote a great part for her. Allegedly, they're going back to Coven. I don't believe it. No, that's what the word is. Like, they're going to do Coven the word again. Is wrong. <laughs> word on the street. The word on the street is y'all fuckers is lying. <laughs> They've been saying they're going back to Coven. They just every need to do a year. whole Coven then series. Then they actually went. They just need to do a Coven series. I think you. I, I think that sounds great in theory, but I don't think in practice they could pull it off. Yeah, it's Ryan Murphy. Sometimes it's, it's, mm. it can be a fluke. I mean, sometimes he has some really good work, and sometimes it's Lee Daniels. <laughs> Yeah. And so there's a spectrum. I, I would also say there is something about having the ending to your story when you write it. Right. And if like I could see them like with an open ending co- with an open ended coven, mm-hmm. it just they're just gonna do way too much. They're gonna have aliens. They just they gonna fuck it up. It's giving them too much room to fuck it up. It's like, nope, you need to work in a confined space. It's just it was just so many like, great characters. Mm-hmm. Like, the chick who, uh, the big red hair. I oh! Her. Oh, yes. Um, Forgot her name. Balenciaga! Yes, her. that's all they need to hear. Um, <laughs> oh, God, and I know her name, too. Okay, let's just, let's see. Um, You'll figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna eat I mean, I could, well... Well, the actress's name is Frances Conroy. Yes. Okay, Francis Conroy, yeah. <laughs> Myrtle Snow! Yes. Myrtle Snow, yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Coven was thoroughly enjoyable. The first Coven, like, really scared me. <laughs> like, like uh, Papa Legba, like, that shit scared me. That's why I was going giving you a little Papa Legba this time. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess getting to TV, um, Jersey didn't disappoint me that much. They at least, got right at least there shit. was conflict. And at least they were all together in the same space. They got it moving. Mm-hmm. There wasn't too much Joe talk. Not that too much. And yeah, like I'm looking forward to Atlanta being good this weekend, hopefully. I'm relieved to see that um, Gia is starting to look a lot less like both of her parents. Because no girl oh. should have to go through that. It's cruel. Yeah, it's funny. She I was like, oh, wow, you don't you don't look anything like your mother. Thank God. <laughs> so nasty child. and so <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of any I was other... giving her a compliment. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else on TV. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's oh, just God. Jersey, Ooh, Atlanta... Of- Courtney Kardashian is leaving, keeping up with the Kardashians. I heard. Good riddance. Hopefully they all can leave. <laughs> but they can't. I don't know. I mean, that's true. What else are they going to do next? Enjoy their money. I don't think they're set up that way. I, I think, think they are. The they cult, have a, they have an amazing trust. I'm sure when Kris Jenner croaks, that's another hundred how million. How is Kris Jenner going to die? I when don't you know, the, sell your soul I know, to she's going to have to pay up at some point. 
Oh, honey, Satan's already got the soul. Eternal life was what she wanted. Oh, wow. Well. She could either live forever or be thin. She chose to live forever. Okay. I guess that means Mona Scott Young isn't going anywhere either. I think Courtney is stepping away because she's going to enjoy her money. Mm -hmm. I think she's like... And she has three kids. Kim well, Kim, Kim has, has four. four. Yeah, I just realized that. Okay, well, never mind. But then again, people want a mother differently. So however you want to do it is how you want to do it. it I mean, if I and had she's kids, a single I'd mom. Probably... Yeah. <laughs> Technically. Technically. Yeah. I feel like when you have when you have staff and when the father's still very active in the kids, like, like there's different levels to it. Mm-hmm. Like, there's single mom where it's like, I ain't even getting child support from this fool. And then there's the court sure of she the make, world. Yeah, she makes more money than Scott at this point. Mm -hmm. And Scott's for money, too. He looks like a drug addict. I've actually seen him in real life, and he looked nice. Shocking. Like, he didn't look like a drug addict. I mean, back in the day, he didn't. But now, he just looks like a drug oh. addict. I haven't seen him recently. Oh, I remember him when, like, I used to watch the show, like, season two or three. That's when um, Chloe had her first face. And she was arrested. Yes, for DUI. And I remember that. And then Kim was taking a selfie in the car while they were on their way to jail. <laughs> Kim, your sister's going to jail. Like, well, yeah, she's going was... to jail. That's a, that's a grown woman. I'm just right. taking my photo on. <laughs> Speaking of shut down, I heard like Barney's. Barney's is closing, and they have these like this week. They they've discount? only a week discount. It's early in the bankruptcy, early okay. in the bankruptcy. So they're gonna try to fleece these fools first, and they opened up. Um, first they've opened up some things for their best customers. You know, the mm. real loyalists, the people who have the real Barney's cards. They're right. gonna get some of the best discounts. But also it's like, okay, I got my crocodile bag for eleven thousand rather than eighteen thousand. Right. I ain't got crocodile bag money yet. <laughs> yet. So five to ten percent discount. That's not even tax. Right. I think New York tax is not. It's like eight point yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eight point nine four three something. I mean, something. if the discount is like under thirty, keep it. Like, you better be like Macy's, where everything in the store is 25% off, and then you have additional sales going on. Right. Oh, God, you're going to hate this. One of your favorite people and someone you despise are getting together. I mean, I dislike... Mariah Carey's memoir to be published under Andy Cohen's imprint. I like them both. They you don't like bother Andy me. Andy Cohen? Yeah, I like him. Oh, my God. This is hilarious. Ewan McGregor asked Judge to declare him single amid divorce. I mean... Do you not understand how divorce works? That's the whole process. After the divorce, you get declared single. Just, not before. Just don't get married. <laughs> it's that easy. You can get married. Just, you know, make sure it's the right person. <laughs> or maybe don't make it legal. Maybe don't get <laughs> legally married. Like Kenya? <laughs> there you go. Allegedly. Although somebody said in the chat, St. Lucia is a U.S. territory, so the marriage is legally binding in America. If she just would have had the fucking marriage on TV, like she, she was wouldn't even, to. she would have still been, she probably would have been the highest paid housewife, honestly. Oh, God, because with the spinoff money especially. Exactly. They would have done a three, maybe even four episode. But... She knew not to because she knew she paid that man and they had like a deal, a business deal. She wanted a baby at any oh means God. necessary. <laughs> any <laughs> means necessary. So she knew what the deal was. She's a con artist. <laughs> a reality con artist. And um, I'm going to meet her at BravoCon. You're going to meet her. I'm going to be hiding in the bushes somewhere. Well, you, at least you're going into the <coughs> sip and see, thank God. So are you going to take a picture with Portia or Eva or Cynthia? I can see you taking a picture I'll with take Cynthia. I'll take a picture with Cynthia. I, um, unlike Candy, I haven't forgiven Portia for her shit with Phaedra either. You have not forgiven Portia. I, like, I just feel like that shit was really foul. And she wants should... to play dumb. While I'm looking at that wig, you should bring it. 
I could be Nene. Or Quad. <laughs> but Kenya will get a kick out of that. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh that could get me. If on you go to the side. sip and see, that will get go you. Go to the good side. Yeah, I came with my Nene. <laughs> Let's see if you ask the question. Ooh, ooh. I came with my finest Nene wig since she's not here today. <laughs> Her wig should be. <laughs> oh, ooh, I could see like just whipping it out like that'll get you camera time. Ooh, that I know I could do it at the photo op. At the photo op after because that way it won't be like a distraction <laughs> during the show. The whole thing is like <laughs> take out. I was expecting to see Nina today, so I brought <laughs> what I could. Ah! So yeah, there you have Ooh, it. Ooh, I would take a picture with Kenya in this wig. That's the that's the only that would be such that a would great go viral. icebreaker. <laughs> Let me take this. And Nene, Nene would definitely wig. not fuck with you then. Nene doesn't fuck with me now. Oh. Okay. What has Nene done for my life? What bill has she paid in my household? She ain't even paying for her grandkids, so I know oh. I ain't getting shit. We even make a cute coin off of Nini. And off of Nini, not Nini helping us make it. Oh, okay. Oh my God, Popeye's Madness. Employees gang up on co-worker who was allegedly selling chicken sandwiches on the side. <laughs> Somebody told me that was happening at McDonald's. Was it you? I was telling you that people, <laughs> like they were doing some illegal shit at the McDonald's on 145th and Broadway. They were taking, like, <laughs> cash, like, whatever you had, and not ring the shit in. <laughs> I, I I asked for a 20-piece in fries. He was just like, oh, you got, yeah, just give me um $6. I was like, okay. Oh, my God. Ooh. Because I, I know them fries with three. <laughs> right. So it's, do what you got to do. I mean, Popeye's is not paying a lot. And the the mayhem, is it worth it? I don't think Cause so. Because Popeye's, I mean, in New York, they'll probably pay you like, what, ten fifty an hour? Ooh. Jesus. So, I mean, I don't get why people get so angry waiting. Because, I, I mean, do. I know I get, I, was, I knew you was about to say that. But <laughs> they make the chicken sandwich fresh. So it's like, you've got to wait if you want it to be good. If that was the case, they would just stock the shit up, you know? So, I appreciate it. I can wait. I'm just glad that the Popeyes that I go to has plexiglass, and they're safe. They don't have to worry about oh, anything. God. Those people at that one are rude as fuck. That's why they put because that plexiglass Because they're at that plexiglass, on. yeah. Oh, and they you... were getting real buck now. <laughs> now, I go to the one on 135th that doesn't have plexiglass, but they're polite. I you heard the chicken sandwich wasn't good. And... What? My friend went there last night and said the chicken sandwich wasn't good from them. Oh, I ha I've had them from there and they oh. were fine. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna get one next week. I've already like I just want to wait till the madness dies down. I think people are still like going crazy. I'd rather have Chick Fil A. The one is, the one in Chelsea didn't even have it, and we went two days ago. Oh, they didn't have the set? Really? Right. They said it was sold out. It's so odd to keep thinking that there is a Popeye's in Chelsea. Right. Because I'm like, don't nobody down there eat, much less fried food. Who's going? <laughs> You'd be surprised. It's always packed. Um, anything else? Kenya Moore took her daughter to Paris for her first birthday. Because she's going to remember. I was just going to say, like, girl, you just wanted to go to Paris. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Don't say, oh, I'm taking the... She ain't gonna remember that shit. Right. She doesn't know where her nose is. <laughs> Ooh, Portia Williams calls out Eva and unfollows her on social media. Is this recent? Yes. Well, Eva's phony. Yeah. So, and at some point, you get tired of that. <laughs> it looks like it's over Eva not bringing her kids to that damn Oh, party. because Portia was the one that relayed that information to Kenya. Which started the whole mm -hmm. Kenya versus Eva thing. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it was messy. And I would say this. It was messy of Eva to say it. Uh, well, and it was messy of... Poor I don't think Eva meant it in that context, though. She oh, just, yes, she did. Yes, she did. That's who she is. That's what she does. It's always... Well, she she lies, it's that think about it shade. That shade not reading. It's like... Wait, did, th did that have for just... Well, 
It's the implications, she, uh-huh. but it's unsaid. So I guess it is shade, but Eva does like to throw the rock and hide her hand. All the time. And never like to admit it. But at the same time, I mean, mm, she just said she didn't feel comfortable. Well, I, yeah. Then you shouldn't feel comfortable going. That's right. I mean, the implication is like, what's if Kenya going to do? Wel- if Pete isn't welcome, I'm not going. Okay. I mean, I see it. Now, what's interesting is the girls who hosted the uh, Hyman Hunt podcast. Oh, they took, yeah. They took the episode down. Right. And one of them is uh, Miguel's beard. <laughs> oh, like, That's God. one of the hosts of the show. I'm familiar. They had a little reality show. Like, she was on something with, like, girlfriends or wives. Yeah, they she's still been ain't trying. made yet. Yeah. Wonder why. <laughs> I mean, because they were cackling and tee-hee-heeing mm-hmm. while he was talking. And now they're getting so much backlash, they had to take the episode down. They said the topic was handled It's, it's out there. It's out there, so... That's probably going to haunt her forever. Whatever. I mean, T.I. is an idiot. Like, we're used to him doing stupid shit. Well... And his Hotep army's gonna follow him off a cliff like lemmings. I think... I'm not sure what they thought would happen when he said something like that. So... I'm just surprised they would just think... They're, su- they're like, shocked at the reactions. Because it really is vile. Backwards Handmaid's Tale type stuff. Mm-hmm. It's basically Handmaid's Tale type stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad those two floozies got the shine that they wanted. <laughs> floozies. Do we start oh. with the hymen hunting? Oh, God. I was hoping you covered that on the Allegedly <laughs> Show. <laughs> Greetings. It is uh, 30 degrees in New York. I'm freezing my ass off. We love New York. We're gonna Who just... said that? Oh. Who the fuck Who said, said that? Told that lie? Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> So we're just going to get right into the hymen. <laughs> right into the hymen. Oh! We're going to oh get right God. into it. Oh, my God. Pete, what, are you, what did you find? Hold on. What? Hopefully not a hymen. <laughs> Chow, you finished it up before I got over there. Oh, I know what it was. He had a little piece of bagel. Didn't I tell y'all? <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell you? You did. Misogynist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like uh, a chauvinist. Mm-hmm. A hypocrite. Mm-hmm. A faux intellectual. Mm-hmm. We haven't heard a peep out of him, and I'm so glad. He's in Mexico right now, dodging the backlash. He should be. He's, he's for real in Mexico? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like his poor daughter. Oh, and then... You saw, like, someone, you know... None of those children are being raised properly. I said it. I said, I'm going to critique his parenting. And if you don't like it, lump it. It's a litter of pit bulls. Anyway. So, and clearly he doesn't care if the boy dogs have sex. Exactly. He's spaying, but not neutering. (laughs) I don't get that. The, The kid, I think, was 13, 14. I'm not sure if he said he was having sex or not, because I don't watch that boring ass show. But they, it was alluded to, right? It's okay, but not the girl. Like you got to, and do it's a hymen weird. Check. She's eighteen. It's weird. You're interested in a hymen. It's just, like it's oh my, very and, and all the fucking around you've done on your wife, all the the partners you've brought into the boudoir, and you really are out here. But don't you, don't you, you eighteen, right? <laughs> I hope his I hope his sons aren't gay either. Like God forbid. Oh. Like I told y'all, and that's all I gotta say on that. We don't even have to spend that much time on this topic. Because <laughs> we. But don't I'm think glad. About how I thought you. Yeah, I don't at all. I had to Google it. If actually, I, if I saw one walking down the street, I wouldn't know a thing. <laughs> sorry to that high man. Sorry, sorry to that organ. Because I would uh-huh. be. I would be. I don't know what that is. Mm. I honestly couldn't recognize it if you showed it to me. Right. And speaking, you know what? While we're already deep in the pussy, let's talk about Robin and Whitney. Oh, my goodness. I forgot about that. So, yeah. um, Finally. 
Con for Finally, me. Finally, uh, like I said in previous videos, I was like, the only story that I'm going to believe is Robin's. But I'm wondering what took so long, or maybe she's seen all these Whitney stories, and like, I want to cash in on this, as well as I want to put my story out there too, since everyone is putting their stories out. And also, I will say, in some of the movies, they definitely alluded to the fact that they was fucking. I think yeah. it was in Being Bobby Brown. Like, I think it's just like, now it's a, a fact. It's not even like a, like a, um, a hypothesis outing? or anything like that. <laughs> a hypothesis. Like, you know how when Luther died, everyone was just like, yeah, Luther was gay. It, it was just, it is what it is. And now it's like Whitney, she was bisexual. It is what it is. It is. And maybe if she was able to live her life, you know. If she didn't have that piece of shit mother. Or Sister husband. Houston is garbage. I ain't even. I, I don't know about Bobby the mother. Now. Like oh, Sissy Houston is the most worthless piece of shit this earth has ever seen. Well, she's the only person on earth worse than Pat Houston. I I can't co-sign yet, but I will say that her mom could have been understanding. Her mother could have not been a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I blame Whitney and Bobby Christina's death squarely. On Sissy. Now, Pat may have run the bathwater, but Sissy told her to do it. I I disagree, y'all. <laughs> but anywho, Robin will be on the Wendy Williams show on this Tuesday. I actually applied for tickets for the Wendy Williams show. And um, I messaged my friend, if you're watching, that works in the uh, Hot Topics Bureau... Crickets. She saw my message too and just ignored me. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm banned. So I can't partake in this interview uh, next week. Because I did, Does that mean I did it for Tuesday. I think I did it for Tuesday, actually. And that was the day Robin's coming. So I don't know. I haven't got my confirmation yet. So I don't know. Anywho, that's going to be a very juicy um, conversation. With, not I'm going to say Whitney. Wendy uh, said on her show yesterday that uh, she had a personal conversation, about 25 minutes with Robin, and she said that it was, on a scale of 1 to 10, a 25. So, I'm sure you have your allegedly show, like, ready, just for that. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So, look out for it. Um, now, I will say... I'm very looking forward to that interview. I don't believe that they cut their physical relationship off early. I believe she was getting yeah, nip I believe, and nip right up until I believe the end. it was a thruple tea. A very thruple tea. Until Bobby got tired. Well, no, no. It was, that was a true love triangle, because I don't think Robin was ever getting in the bed. Oh, Bobby. yeah, you're right, you're right. That's that's a true triangle, honey. Them, them angles is not meeting. <laughs> Those lines will never intersect. I still can't believe Bobby Brown was with Janet Jackson at one point. Well, if she would get with Jermaine Dupree, T, let you yeah. know about her choicing I just, skills. Right, yeah. Okay. Eddie Murphy told Whitney Houston it was a mistake to marry Bobby Brown. <laughs> at what point in her career? Well, I guess when she was marrying him. Oh, of course it was a mistake. I mean, of course she was on drugs prior to Bobby, but, I mean, when you have two drug addicts together, like, I mean... Oh, God. Oh, this is from, um, this is from Robin's book. And she said she was oh. always, she said she was always more interested in Eddie, but Eddie was elusive. And uh, one day when Eddie was supposed to come for dinner, she caught a glimpse of Whitney. She was wearing a black dress and low-heeled slingbacks. A key heel! She had on a key heel, a key heel, a key heel. And for a moment, I thought, boy, was she doing that for me? Wow. Oh, my God. You might need to buy the book. I might have to you buy the book. You might have to buy the book. I didn't know it was going to be that good. Pre-order on Amazon. <laughs> It might be juicy. You might need to do uh, like, this a, sounds like pretty a chapter. Juicy. Like, <laughs> how many chapters is it? I don't know. Hmm. Oh my god! I'd watch it. Oh, sadly, Murphy was a no show, but he did call her July eighteenth, um, the morning of her wedding in nineteen ninety two, to tell her not to marry Bobby. 
Ain't that an asshole? Call you to tell you not to marry somebody else after they don't show up for you. Well, I guess those are our topics for today, so right. we'll see you sooner than T.I. sees the inside of another gynecologist office. <laughs> I think you got me beat, honestly. I mean, we'll see you next week for BravoCon. Okay, right. we will. We will next Saturday. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to put out the show Thursday. Yeah, it'll be two days before BravoCon, and then, yeah. We might even give you a little live from BravoCon. Just a little. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. Now, I know the video is coming to a close, but you need more tea. Head over to my girl, Layla Lens. The link is up there and in the description box. And you can get all the Real Housewives Season 12 tea from Layla Lynn. And honey, you think I have the tea? She gets the tea. I just be out here sipping what's already been poured. She knows how to brew herself, gets her own organic tea leaves, and makes up a proper potion. From the real reason that Nene doesn't want Kenya back on the show to the truth about Portia hacking Dennis' phone. Layla Lynn has all the tea, so check out them videos. And I'll see you soon for something. For some.